So I'm here today to warn people against dealing with Strongbergs, poultry, and game birds. Strongbergs is a well-known um, poultry supply place. Anyone in the fancy pretty much knows who they are. It's also um, a well-known beekeeping supply place. Strombergs is owned by Man Lake Limited. They used to be owned by the Stromberg family, but they sold out um, several years back. They sold out and now Man Lake, which is a bee supply company, bought them out. So anyway... Here, I'm going to detail the complete chaos and cluster F I went through with my order to Strombergs. So, in mid-ish March of 2021, I ordered from Strombergs a Brinzy Ova Easy 380 cabinet incubator. Now... I have been wanting a cabinet incubator. I w was waffling between uh, GCQ and Brinzy for a long time. Um, but I have been wanting a cabinet incubator for a very long time. Years. But I could never afford it. So a couple of years back, I decided that whenever I sold a bird or you know a chick... Whenever I did any kind of business at all with my birds, I would put that money aside in hopes of one day getting a cabinet incubator. So for the past two years, little by little, you know, bird sale by bird sale, I was putting away money, squirreling it away for a cabinet incubator. The incubators I have are, um, oh God, Brower Top Hatches. I have several of them. They hold about 48 eggs, and they are 14 years old. The turners no longer work on them. I have to hand turn. It, it's just fussy. They're old, and they still work. I used them last year. They still work, sort of, just not to the caliber that I've been wanting. So I've been saving all this time for a cabinet incubator to make my dream of a cabinet incubator to come true. So it took a couple of days and they shipped out the incubator. It took a couple of more days for the incubator to get here. Um, it came from the Woodland, California location, which is only an hour away from me. You know, who's to, who would have known? So anyway, they shipped it out. It got here. I looked out the window. The truck was pulling in. I went ahead and went outside. The guy came out, opened the back of the truck. It had a lift on the back, like a metal platform lift on the back. And he wheeled this pallet onto uh, the lift. Um, when I looked, it, it didn't look in the factory box. There was, it was cardboard covered with this like saran wrap over the whole entire thing on this pallet and I thought well you know maybe it's extra padding to protect the incubator the the factory box is inside no problem so he wheels it to the front of the garage that's where I told him to take it and he he's got I don't know this electric forklift type thingamajigger so he wheels it to the front of the garage and, you know, drops it there. Um, he goes around and he goes ahead and, and goes to leave. So my son and I undid the, the saran wrap type stuff because the saran wrap was holding the incubator to the pallet. The pallet's still sitting out there next to the garage. Um, we freed the incubator from the pallet. And I discovered, because the jerry-rigged cardboard around it started to separate. The saran wrap was kind of, there was tape on the cardboard, but the saran wrap was mostly holding everything together and closed. It started to open up, separate, and I saw that there was just an incubator in there. No in-factory box. I'm like, what's this? So anyway, my son gets the hand truck. 
We throw a blanket over the hand truck so nothing on the hand truck can bother anything. We keep the cardboard on it. There's cardboard on top and the it was a big piece of cardboard bigger than the incubator when all it went it was taped around the incubator. It didn't go all the way around. It was a couple of boxes. It was taped around the incubator. And on top, it was folded over, but didn't quite make it to cover the top. So there was another piece of thick cardboard on the top. We left all that there. We got the hand truck, threw a blanket on it, and in the cardboard and everything, we slipped the hand truck underneath the incubator, and we brought it up to the house and into the house. So once in the house, we lifted off the cardboard, which wasn't hard because, like I said, it was kind of gapping and coming loose. And we set it off to the side. And what greeted us, instead of a new-in-the-box, pristine, brand-new cabinet incubator, was an incubator that had gouges on the sides. Um, deep gouges. Now, this incubator on the sides, it's foam like a like a styrofoam type situation covered in plastic on the sides and the plastic was not broken but it had been hard contacted with something protruding and it had dented it in um, some of the deep ones had a black stuff in in the gouges so I don't know a car part I don't know, but it, deep gouges, there were also uh, depressions in the sides that looked kind of like finger-sized round. It was hard to catch it on camera because they had no color to them. They were just um, indents in the incubator. Um, and this was on both sides, it had gouges. There was a significant gouge on both sides. Both sides also had the little depressions, you know, little more minor dings. On the top, when we removed the top cardboard, the top was a myriad of fine scratches with several more moderate scratches. I mean, clear scratches there. Um, it was damaged. It was clearly at least you know, looks-wise, it was damaged. It was not new and pristine. On the top, on the tip top, towards the back, there was a sticker that said, oh, I forget, it's, it's up early 2020. It was clearly a floor model sticker. So this incubator had clearly been a floor model that had been set out for people to look at, and it was not well treated. It was all dinged up. Um, the next thing I did was immediately grab my camera and start taking pictures within three minutes of it, 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 me lifting off the cardboard. I started taking pictures of the damage because you've got to understand I'm, I'm on a fixed income. I'm disabled. I'm not well off. This has been a dream of mine. I have saved for a long time. And in addition, I didn't, when these went on sale, I didn't have quite enough money to cover it. So the plan was, was I was going to juggle the bills for a month or two. The new incubator I was going to use to incubate and hatch out a bunch of eggs to provide birds, both for food purposes for our house, food and breeding purposes, and also extras that I could sell to kind of at least make up the money I had to juggle on the bills to get the incubator. That was the plan. You know, quick, like, get it in here, create a bunch of, of birds that I can sell and kind of make up the, the many hundred dollars that I had to juggle with the bills. So that was the plan. So anyway, we grabbed the camera and I immediately started taking pictures. I took pictures of the box that I had set aside, looking for any damage on the box that covered it to explain why it was in, in the condition it was in. Oh, also, on the condition, 
in the especially in the front uh, along the top greasy black like fingerprints smudges all over on both sides front too it is black smudgy I don't know like somebody had handled it after working on a, a, a vehicle engine is what it looked like um, so anyway I started taking pictures and I'll show you some of the pictures I took um, but yeah I started taking pictures right away so of course I immediately emailed Stromberg's within 15 minutes of receiving the incubator I emailed Stromberg's to let them know of the issue what the heck is this so without even seeming surprised they offered 150 off now while I was taking pictures I was formulating in my head that a third off at least a third off for this incubator and I was willing to entertain the possibility in negotiations of being discounted for the item I got I was willing to entertain that possibility so in a long string of emails over a couple of days first they offered me 150 I said that was not going to be sufficient then they offered me 250 and I said that is not going to be sufficient I offered them their options as a business they could either refund me back to a fair price for what I actually got they could go ahead and send me the incubator I actually ordered or they could have this incubator picked up sent to a qualified facility to be refurbished back to the condition that I bought they did not want to refund me back they did not want to send the incubator to be refurbished which I don't blame them that would have been just outrageously costly they chose of their own volition they chose that they were going to send me the incubator I actually purchased fine great because that's what I really want anyway I want what I paid for so I asked when they would be able to do this they told me they had no incubators in they had no incubator supply and that they they were on back order and they didn't know when they were going to get another one in well I'm on like a dog on a bone with this I'm like okay fine I will wait until you get new supply in I need to be number one on the list to be taken care of um, and when you get new supply in I will keep track then you can perform on the sales contract and send me the incubator that works great for me negotiation ended fine no problem okay at this point let's talk frankly about this this was an on purpose and not an accident the way we know it's an on purpose is because if they had new stock in that was earmarked for me and this damaged incubator got grabbed by mistake and sent over to me they would still have my incubator sitting in their warehouse at the time that I told them there was a problem instead it was immediately oh we have no supply another way we know this wasn't on purpose and not an accident is the incubator wasn't new in the box they had to actually package it up to send so it was clearly at the get-go not new in the box like I ordered full stop right there they knew it wasn't new in the box but they jerry-rigged packaging up anyway and they sent it over to me so this was clearly an on purpose and let's further talk frankly 
This was a bait and switch attempt. They thought that if they sent this floor model incubator for an online purchase out, that whoever got it wouldn't know how to fight the issue, wouldn't know what to do, and would just kind of give up in disgust, um, not knowing what to do about it, and they could keep the money, which is a profit for them if they have to sell it at damaged scratch and dent prices, it's worth a lot less. So they collected a new price and s sent it out, hoping that the person would just give up, give it up and they could keep the new price for it. Great way to make a little extra profit for the business, don't you think? So over the course of three months, the periodic emails, I was promised to be first on the list to be served when new supply came in. Um, and I kept checking in. I didn't believe what they were saying because why should I believe somebody who up and decided to send me a damaged item in place of a new item? You know, their motives were suspect, their ethics were suspect. So I started getting in contact with Brinzi, the manufacturer. They have, um, their U.S. location in Florida. So I started talking with them just to keep an eye out on when new supplies were going to come in, when Stromberg's was going to be sent their supply. <coughs> so on 6-2, new supply of these incubators came into U.S. stocks from the U.K. because these are manufactured in the U.K. Um, on what was it? Six fifteen. Oh, what happened on six on on six fourteen? I was notified that from Brinzi that Stromberg's supply had been sent out. Um, on the fourteenth, I found that out on the fifteenth. Um, on six twenty four, I poked at Stromberg's. And they told me they had indeed received the supply and that my incubator was going to go out in the next several days. So now the next, we're, we're, they got it on a Thursday, which was the 24th. So Friday, I didn't expect anything in the weekend. Monday, Tuesday, and today is Wednesday. I heard nothing. They said... Crystal, the office lady, said that I would receive an email saying that it had been shipped. Well, I didn't receive that. So this morning I poked at Stromberg's to find out what was going on because I am this close to starting legal actions. This close. Um, Crystal said that it had been given to their trucking company. I don't know what that means. Last time it came by UPS. Um, but it was coming from their, their, their truck from their shipping company. Okay, fine. So I asked her for a tracking number, um, some way to keep track of it. And she told me there's no, they don't offer a tracking number for this trucking company. I said, okay, well, is there any documentation on this? So she just now, I just, before I clicked record, I just got an, an email with um, a trucking company, um, a, a bill of lading, I think maybe they call it, um, saying that yesterday... They had it ready and available, so I'm assuming it doesn't say expressly that it was picked up, So, but I'm assuming it was picked up. But again, the ethics of these people are in question. You know, I, she could be putting out, yesterday she ordered for a truck to come. Um, it says my address on it. So... I have to operate under the assumption that the truck did pick it up and it's on its way. Um, 
she said it could be up to five days. So that's early next week. So I am still waiting. It's been three months. It is, gosh, it's June 30th. Yep, June 30th today. So we're looking at a, a receiving date somewhere in the realm of Monday or Tuesday, the 5th or 6th. So I sit here waiting. Three months. Now, let's talk about the damaged incubator. Very interesting stuff going on there. Hey, please hit up part two where we continue this saga.